Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guess Messiah. How the devil are you, mate? I hope you are having a fan dodely weekend so far, okay? If you're not, ramble it and change it to make it the best weekend you've ever had in your whole entire life. Go somewhere you've never been before after this video. Uh, today, we're looking at a little channel, okay? A small little channel. Only got 4.28 million subscribers. And we all know him, the lovely Omar Gosh. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? Because his work is amazing, okay? The video is called Scariest Video Ever. Demon grabs my leg. Ooh. How and why did it grab your leg, mate? We'll find out today. Anyway, without further ado, time daily day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, oh my gosh, oh, TV. Oh, 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 oh. Demon! Look oh, behind you! Look behind you! Look behind you! Oh, 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 something just grabbed me by the leg! Get me out of here! Anaswang is a mythical creature from Philippine Fo- Last one is a certain creature from what blah, 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 blah. Maximum voice from Omar Gosh. Folklore that is said to be a shape shifting monster. Capable oh my fucking god, what was that, mate? Of taking different forms, including that of a beautiful woman. <laughs> fucking hell! It is said to feed on human flesh, especially those of unborn fetuses and small children. Oh, Its God. eerie call can be heard echoing through the air, sending shivers down the spines of those who dare to venture out after sunset. What my bloody watching here, mate? Recently, I came across a terrifying email that stood out to me, and it went like this. As a Filipino immigrant to the U.S., I was excited to receive a Balakbayan box from my sister, filled with items from my homeland. One of the items was a wooden carved statue of an Aswang, a monster from Philippine folklore. Nice. I put it on my bookshelf, and strange things started happening in our home almost immediately. We heard whispers in the night, walking around the house, bangs on the walls, and would sometimes find things broken in the house. Our youngest daughter would wake up screaming about a monster in her room on oh. many occasions. On one particular night, she wouldn't stop crying saying the creature took on a different form and physically grabbed her. Oh. We finally moved and have not returned. Desperate to get rid of the cursed statue, I tried to burn it, but it wouldn't catch fire right away and took several attempts. Eventually, I was able to burn and bury it, but it was already too late. Our once happy home is now infested with a malevolent spirit that literally ran us out. I would fuck who the fuck are you, mate? Coming into my house, trying to run us out of the building, eh? Who the hell are you? Who are you? I would ramble that shit. Get get the fuck out. We've tried selling it a few times, but legally have to disclose its hauntings in our state, so that turns away potential buyers. As of now, the home sits vacant. Now, even though the Aswang is traditionally a shape-shifting cryptid, Fucking there are hell. some versions of the Aswang that suggest that the creature may also have some ghostly or supernatural abilities, such as the ability to disappear or become invisible. Mm. Additionally, there are other creatures in Philippine folklore, such as the Multo or Capre, which are more explicitly associated with ghosts and spirits. Is that what is lurking in the darkness here in this home? This is only our second time here, and after my first encounter, I honestly didn't <laughs> not want to come back. Oh. So I'm not too sure, but I have a feeling we're gonna find out sooner or later. Shit. After I spoke on the phone with Angelo, he shared with me some footage of things his security cameras caught over the last year. Oh God. Fucking hell! I didn't want to go back. James kind of persuaded me. He was like, hey man, you got this. You know what good friends usually- MAXIMUM HEIGHTS, PLEASE! You do. 
can't believe I'm doing this. <sighs> Bro, I cannot believe we're coming back in here after last time. Oh, dude, how how come? I mean, you've, this happened the last time. That crucifix moving. Look at that. Is it the wind? Did you touch it? No. It literally is moving. <laughs> it's moving, and there's no wind. There's a storm door. I made James go in last time first, Your turn. so my turn. Let's go in first. Hello, we're back. Welcome I back. I spoke with the caretaker, <laughs> and they were in here. So I don't know. feeling just coming back in here immediately it's insane so the first time omar and i went there we did a sound deprivation session aka estes method and let's just say the communication oh, what the fuck was that mate look at you what the hell oh oh hey the communication we had was one of the most insane, craziest things that ever happened. I didn't even realize that something basically attacked Omar. <sighs> Bro, I want to see if I feel crazy in this room again. <laughs> bro, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, bro, I'm going straight for the chair, bro. I don't even care. Yeah, ramble it. Yo, isn't that chair like moving on its own sometimes? Uh, yes, in my last video, um, dude, that was insane. Check it out, too. Look, it's not plugged in. So if that starts moving oh, again, yeah. we should try to plug it in and see if it actually moves. Wait, because, the chair plugs in? Yeah, it's like Wait, one of what? those electronic um, lazy boys. Wait, lazy it's like a boy? massage chair? Uh, I mean, maybe it's a massage chair. No, yeah, the back just goes back, you know? <laughs> uh, right here. Oh, look. All right. Are so, you gonna sit on there? Last time you sat on there, it didn't work out too well for you. Bro, look, that's not what happened to me. I promise you that. It, it wasn't anything like this. What does it even do? There you go. It just reclines. It reclines the chair. Helps you, you up. Like lumbar. Helps you up and that. You, you, you sit there and you do that and then it brings you back. Support. I haven't got one. I'm just saying. That's, I've seen the adverts. This is legit a lazy boy. See that? Oh, it's a lazy just... boy. But we never asked the spirit what their name was. I have an idea. Huh. Why don't you go sit in that See, chair? I was just thinking that, bro. <laughs> just... just like the last time, we get inside the house, immediately feel this just like heavy burden. You know, we're just kind of walking around and we go first to the living room where this chair was moving on its own at one point. And James is kind of joking around. He's like, hey, I'm going to go and sit in the chair. You know what I mean? One of the first things we do when we get back into this house that I thought was a good idea. Oh, by the way, give Omar some love, mate. All right. Because I think it was like uh, two days ago, his dog died. So bless, mate. I mean, um, it was, it's been, uh, his, his dog was ill for the last month, I would say. And um, unfortunately, his dog died a couple of days ago. So give him some love was to sit in the same chair where Omar was attacked and maybe we didn't make the right decision. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go sit in this But chair. hang on, hang on. Just for poops and giggles. <laughs> I'm gonna unplug it. Ugh. Just to make sure okay. that Good there's thing. nothing All right. like that happening. Oh wait, look. I unplugged it and it's still lit up. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's just gonna I have some to energy God, huh? left in look. it. Yeah, you, you, need, you need to push Bro, it a bit and then it'll the drain. It'll still... drain. Just no, push what? the button, it'll drain. Did you really, Dude, really I unplugged, unplugged it. I yeah, you, you just push the button, it'll drain. Hey, sit in that chair. I don't think so now, bro. I don't <laughs> bro, know. Bro, that's yeah, a Yeah, it's holding electric in the in the in the in the in the thing, okay? Just push the button, it'll drain. I did lazy boy. I ain't never seen anything like that. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, there was this puzzle on the table and it just goes flying everywhere. It goes onto the floor. As I'm sitting there, 
I see something go flying off the table. What the hell was that? Dude, dude? I just saw all these puzzle pieces dude. just fly off the table. I'm not even How? kidding you, bro. I've never seen anything like that. Dude. I'm not crazy, okay? <laughs> Omar's got this <laughs> fucking leaf blower underneath his arm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not crazy. Whoa, you saw that. Wait, is the door open? The door is okay, the door closed. Is not open for sure. The door is not open. Like I know that's not the wind. Maybe there's a window open. Okay. It was when you sat window, in that man. chair. You sat in that chair and it pissed it I off. Don't even think about that. No, no, don't let it freak us out because it's gonna really like. You know what I mean? Yeah, if we yeah, show. Yeah. I'm not scared. No, I'm not scared. scared I'm not scared of you. Yeah. We ain't scared of you. And Mate, did you see your last video, okay? That demon bitch fucking poking behind that bloody chair, mate, and you're not afraid of her. Well, I wouldn't be. It's just clearly Rambo in it. Seen a lot of my videos, probably. That's what it was. I thought it was a puzzle. Card. Oh, I thought those were playing cards. No. Dude, those puzzles were there the last time we came here. It was like a Wizard of Oz puzzle. But there was something else on the Bro, table. It looked different last time for some reason, I thought. I remember this. Went flying off here as soon as we came in. Yes, sir. Is her. I saw a glimpse of this in the beginning. Do you remember seeing a purple ball in the kids' room? I don't remember seeing any ball. No, what are you talking about? All right. Uh, last time we were here, James witnessed that tambourine flying off the shelf. Oh, mate. Am I okay in here? Am I safe? Can you make this tambourine fly off the shelf again? Go for it. Use your power. Do it again! Bro, it's awful quiet in here all of a sudden. I think... Oh! I don't know. This lamp is like... It fell or something. I mean, maybe it was like that before. Mm. What the fuck was that? Bro, you go, you go first. I don't think we're alone up in here, bro. bro. Like, are you sure <laughs> up in here. here? Maybe there's oh, like mate. a homeless we're gonna, person. We're gonna see this. We're gonna see this bitch again, aren't we? I mean, I've not seen the first one, to be fair. In here. What that sound like losing your again? Can you make that rocking chair start moving again? You heard that? Yeah. Oh, 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 no! It freaked us out. At that point, I was like, why are we here? That's what why I saw at the beginning, mate. Why did I agree to do this? But then I was like, the reason why- But the thing is, okay, it could have been blown. But why is it still continuing to go down the hallway? What we're here is we're trying to find answers for the Cruz family. We want to let them know, hey, we can confirm that there is something there. I literally saw this ball as I'm walking down the hallway go flying as if like a ghost kicked it. Oh my <laughs> God, bro. Maximum eyeballs, please. Oh. Whoa, it just moved again. Dude, no. Do it Take again. It Take it back. <laughs> I like it, bro. It's coming right back towards us. We did. Yeah, because she's just fucking bouncing against the wall. See it the first time we went there. Like, maybe we missed it. Maybe somebody brought it. I don't know. <laughs> Can you move that ball oh, again? You keep that ball. Do it again. Like, I'm trying to process this. Did that really just happen, bro? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Go in there. Show yourself if you're here. As he's as he stood behind Omar, yeah. yeah show yourself, go on, go on, Omar, get in there, mate. Maybe it's like a kid, bro, like a kid spirit trying to play with us. Bro, I don't feel like there's no freaking kid, bro. Can you move that ball again? Honestly, I don't even want to ask it to do anything more. 
Please tell me. That's that's a bit of a small exercise. I'm sure that's an exercise ball, right? It's a bit of a small one. You got that on video. Uh, dude, right. that's like probably one of the best evidences I've ever Bro, seen look, in my look, life. You want to look right now? Yeah, sure. All right. Remember that candle that we had here the last time? Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't have it here, but we found it here. It's called the Angel de la Garda. I don't, know, I don't know if that's Filipino, but yeah. Okay. I'm light it because it's never been lit. Hope it guards us. I hope this doesn't piss off the Aswang is here. Is that what you are? Or are you pretending to be something that you're not? I want to know what their name is. I want to know why they're so dang mean. Let's start with that. Okay. What your name is. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot. Cora, Danny. Leave it. Yeah, so I we're leave there it. probably, I don't know, maybe an hour. What? Hang on. Gear and shit. But these headphones are so damn good, it actually feels like something's behind me. We're messing with the spare box, and then we start getting some good stuff. When we did the spare box, it was saying that it was a demon, and possibly more than once. And it kind of makes me think could there possibly be a portal there? So, what pushed that ball earlier? I heard ball, I think. Why did you take over this house and kick the family out? I want respect. I'm gonna just let this See, play. See, th that, th that app is, is really good. Freaking, like the noises are horrible. But it's very rare that you can actually pick something, like a, a proper word out. Because it's, you know that, that thing where it goes um, green needle and it could be green needle but it could be something else and you know it, it, it's really whatever you, you're thinking of I think when you hear the shit I don't know it's a good app it looks good but uh, I'm not too it's very hard to decipher what it's actually saying and you let me know what you want to say to us that's a good question help, help. that said help uh, yeah yeah I don't think that said help. I think I think it said help. I wonder if this house is on some type of portal. Demon. I heard demon. That's a demon. He's literally proving me wrong, right? Everything I just said earlier is just proving me wrong. That said demon. Bro, I got a bad feeling, bro. Oh God, see, it's those fucking voices there. It's those voices there. <laughs> hey! Hey! Behind you! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, look behind you! Oh, look behind you! Look behind you! Look behind you! Dude, I saw it from the corner of my eye. Oh, what the hell? It's still moving. As we're using the Necrophonics app, Omar starts yelling. I freak out. I almost fall over in the chair. And behind me, that same exact chair started moving all by itself. You know when you see something from the corner of your eye, your peripheral vision? Well, as we're doing the spirit box, I see what looks like a hand. I thought at first maybe it was James. And I see some movement and... Of course, when I look, it's moving behind him. So, I mean, I quickly just grab my camera. I want to show that it's not plugged in. Look, it's not plugged in, too. It is not Still plugged in. Still been moving, mate. scared the hell out of me. Dude, that scared me. This just started moving out of nowhere. What's it saying? What's it saying? What the hell? <laughs> what keeps moving the chair? <laughs> bro. Maybe it's him. Bro, you should feel uh, like right now. Yo, I don't know about this, dude. I don't know about this. I feel like this house is connected to some sort of portal. Or maybe something happened when they brought whatever they brought from the Philippines. If you're from the Philippines and you know what kind of evil we're dealing with in this house, please let me know. I've never dealt. I've never dealt with the Aswang or anything like that. I mean, this is like a whole nother level of malevolent. Are you from the Philippines? Can you tell us yes or no? Oh, I heard get out. Can you tell us where you're from originally? Ooh. 
I'm sure that said, I'm God. Can you tell us where you're from originally? Did I say from God? I think I don't you know. did. You are not from God. I prom. What? Are you like freaking uh, out right now? Yes, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel like too. something's gonna like fly out at me or something. Oh, God. <laughs> bro. Don't be a pain. No, it didn't say that, did it? Fly out at me or something. Oh, God. Bro. Like, oh, man. I don't think it said don't be a baby. It sounded sound like don't be something. Especially when you did it, like, I didn't know what was happening, bro. Like, I was actually relieved to see it was the chair moving. Like, I don't know. I thought, like, something was coming for us. You saw that Imagine chair moving, that. right? I, I did, yeah. When I when I grabbed the camera and I looked, it was it was still moving, but I didn't see it when you saw it. Can you move that chair again for us? He can. Do it again, bro. Let me catch somebody hiding up in here. Is that all you can do? <laughs> Why would you even <laughs> say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I probably should have said that. Is there anything that you could do in the house? Oh, fucking hell, mate! Here. Oh, it said no. So you may be wondering, like, why the heck are we here? Well, we're here for the Cruz family. They happen to be good friends of mine, and I want, I want to show the world that they're not crazy. There is something definitely here that chased them out of here. And it was so bad that they're not even in the same state anymore. And one thing that James Shit. had mentioned in his video, there's actual laws against not saying that a house is haunted in the state that we're in today. Oh, so I've asked that question before. Some people were like, no, Ben, you don't have to do that at all. That's ridiculous. And some people said, absolutely you do. So it probably depends where, where you are in the world and which state you're in. Oh. They did try to put the house up for sale, and being that they said that the house was haunted, it scared a few people away, and for good reason. I mean, just look at what's happening. I mean, I don't know if maybe this place is extra- Would you ever say that, though? If you were selling a place, would you ever say that the house is haunted? Even if you were legally obliged to say it, would you say it? I mean, because you could just say, well, I didn't know that. I mean, I've heard noises, but every house- just, you know, things happen, things fly off. You could totally dismiss it. Active because there hasn't been any spirits, live spirits to feed off of here. What do you think, James? I think whatever spirits here are not good spirits at all. But also like we haven't been physically hurt and that's that's a good thing. I got physically So hurt. maybe they're just playing around. Like I don't know. I really don't know. I can't decide. But I was going to go in there, and then, like, I was like, I'm going to wait for you, bro. I don't want to go in there by myself. Yeah, into that room. Oh, okay. Well, it just stays. It's like a magnet. Look, it's like love. Like everything is about love here. Mm, I noticed that. I mean, which maybe, I maybe that's why the spirits are so mad here. It's like they don't like love, you know. Is that true that you don't like love? <gasps> What's that? Do you hear that? That was my butt. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Do you think it's friendly, bro? Uh, I, I don't know. It's either definitely not friendly or it's just like really messing with us. You know what I mean? Because I don't feel like good feeling here at all. Yeah. I don't know. I always try to give the benefit of the doubt, you know? True. I mean, whatever. What are you? Here I am. Are you here to stay forever? You can't do that. That's crazy. 
What do you think? Fuck it out. What? Bro. What? Bro. What? Bro. What? Dude. Dude, what? the whole freaking table just moved. No. -uh. Bro, the whole table. Oh. 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 It felt like something grabbed a hold of my leg. I instantaneously fell to the ground, and my first thought was like, I need- Oh, imagine if you saw a fucking shadow bat. Oh, God, mate, I, that's freaking me out, mate. It's freaking me out. Just imagine seeing the shadow bastard right there, just grabbing with beady, white, bastard eyes. To get out of here, but I couldn't. It's like something had a hold of me. As soon as James checks on me, like, it's like it let go right away. I didn't even know what was going on. All I knew was that he was yelling, something was hurting him. I just went to grab him and pull him out of the house. I feel really bad because his family wanted some answers. I mean, all I could really give them is... Yeah, I got attacked, mate. Stay out of there. Hey, your house is haunted. It's still haunted. You need to either bulldoze it or sell it to somebody that wants to take care of it. Shit. Maximum shit going on in that place, mate. Oh my gosh, mate. Thank you so much, you're a belly legend. Thank you also for watching this video. And please remember, hit that subscribe button and do the thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at CasperSite.com. Just Rambo it.